just my internet family. We're talking about how does God communicate to his people that we should And we're talking about situation. Different city, or we use the situation that is going on around you to tip you off so you know what to do. I want you to read Judges 9 verses 23. Then God sent an evil spirit between Ablibamech and the men of Shechem. And the men of Shechem deal treacherously with Ablimamech. You have to pay attention to when you and certain people cannot get along. Cannot get along something God don't want you together. No one you together. You don't have to hate each other, but you can just leave. Just go your way. For example, you try to talk to a woman. You see a woman that you love and you want to talk to her. But she already have eight children for eight different men. Not eight children for one man. Eight children for different man. What is this indicate to you? This woman is having a man problem. She don't know how to process those men. She don't know how to govern those men. She don't know how to train those men. Hate men? I will take a woman with that amount of kids. If I care about her. If she have them for one man or two men. But have them for hate different men? No. No. I'm not going to go into that, that situation. But pay attention to situation. We're going to drop this, this, this theme right soon because situation is not the only way God talks to you. He talks to you through your spirit too. He talks to you through your spirit. He talks to you through your feelings. You feel a terrible feeling not to go in the car. That man, you walking down the road and a car just pull up on them and half of you are right and you don't know them. And you don't look like you're tired. And you don't look like you're lost. Something in your spirit is supposed to turn. Your gut is supposed to turn. You don't feel nothing? Huh?